You did it. You've made it to Wednesday, which means you've made it over the hump, which means you've made it to Wednesday evening, which means you get a round of applause. <laughs> Just because. Welcome back to the Wednesday night edition of Mr. Eric Reads. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope that you will continue to share videos that you enjoy, um, that you will continue to tell your friends to come join me. Um, it's a video every night. It's on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, whatever platform it needs to be on. Um, and we'll work on some ways to get the word out even more so, so that we can continue to promote literacy, so that you young readers out there, hello, continue to become our future leaders, which is what this is all about. As you guys have seen, we've also had a lot of guest readers, like Miss Aaron from last night, uh, who did an excellent job telling us about the letter sound E. If you have a student or you yourself would like to read for me here and for everyone on Mr. Eric Reads, please just let me know. Shoot me a message. Drop me a comment. Shoot me an email. Whatever. Just let me know somehow. I'll be more than happy to put you on because um, this is a great initiative that I really want you guys to take off and run with. Um, but enough about that. Tonight we go back to Deborah Dyson's classic character. <sighs> Boom. The pout pout fish and this time he cleans up the ocean so let's find out what happens in deborah dyson's classic tale the pout pout fish cleans up the ocean on mr eric reads the ocean is amazing mr fish's grin was wide the beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside His head was full of happy and his heart was full of awe, but his smile sank away when he turned around and saw. A big, big mess. Whatever can it be? But he really couldn't tell. So he talked with a friend who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving, and I don't know what to do, but I'm going to find some answers. Would you like to join me too? Absolutely said Miss Shimmer. As she grabbed a few supplies, they traveled to the mystery mess to see it with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean big and bright, but looming in the distance was a dark and dismal sight. A big, big mess. What is it made of? They both wondered, and they pondered this out loud. Around them, others gathered in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do. We're gonna find some answers. Would you like to join us too? Well, count us in, said Mr. Seahorse. As he powered up his rig, enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss, but a thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. A big, big mess. Who will fix this? The fish were asking, hoping someone else would know. There were lots of conversations as they, as they traveled with the flow. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do, but we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? I'll ask one, said Miss Squid. 
As she swished away some junk, the group continued forward toward a nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess, they took measurements and samples, they made notes, and they did research, and they found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to the one conclusion... The problem is us. We made the big, big mess. Then they froze in disbelief. Then they all began to shout, feeling troubled and uneasy, and some began to pout. Were they stuck it with this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried too. But there's one thing that I know. It's awful that we caused it. But this bad news can be good. For it means that we can solve it. If we all agree, we should. Silence filled the ocean. Their future was at stake. It was a moment of decision, but which one would they make? A big, big, yes! We can do it, they exclaimed, positively, yes and yup. So they all pitched in together, and they cleaned the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone. They worked hard to fix and remedy the damage that they'd done. Then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less trace, and reduce their use of plastic and put trash in the right place. Problems have solutions, so we learn what we can do Together, we're the answer. Would you like to join us too? The end. The Pout Pout Fish cleans up the ocean. Wednesday night, Mr. Eric reads. We have two more days this week. Crush Thursday, crush Friday. Have a phenomenal rest of your night. Rest up. Do something tomorrow that makes somebody smile because of how kind you were. Listen the first time and we try our best. That's all. Good effort, good attitude. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Drop it, drop it. What, what, what? I don't know. I just kind of lost it at, that, at the end of that. But either way, hope you enjoyed the book. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the hallway.